Hi, I'm Joshua Farnsworth, and I've got an exciting announcement to make today. I'll now be making and selling the portable Moravian workbenches like those that we use here at my school and that you've probably seen in so many of my videos. So stick around and I'll talk about what makes these workbenches so cool. Well, I'm really excited to talk with you about my favorite style of workbench, the Moravian workbench, which I've built a bunch of for my school. This 18th century reproduction workbench was made popular in the video I produced called Building the Portable Moravian Workbench with Will Myers. Thousands of woodworkers have built it after watching the short YouTube video that I shared of Will Myers assembling the whole workbench in just 58 seconds. But a lot of students have asked me if I'd consider selling workbenches like this because they felt like building one was either beyond their skill level or they didn't have the time or they just didn't have the tools to build one of these. So here's your answer now, I'm, I'm selling them. Uh, but before I go much further with the cool features of this workbench, I wanna let you know that you can click up there somewhere, wherever they're putting it nowadays, to visit the product page if you're interested in buying a Moravian workbench from me. And I'll also include a link down in the description below the video. Also, if you're new around here, you can click the subscribe button and the notification bell down there somewhere so you can be notified immediately when I release new videos. All right, now I'll jump into showing you some reasons why I think the Moravian Workbench is so cool. The original Moravian workbench was made in the 1700s by a religious group of immigrants from Moravia, an area in modern-day Czech Republic and Slovakia. The workbench is in the museum storage of the old Salem village in North Carolina. Years ago, my friend Will Myers saw the reproduction workbench in the old Salem workshop and decided to make a copy. His workbench built was featured in a couple online articles, and then he started teaching a class on building the workbench at Roy Underhill School. The class always had a very long wait list and was almost impossible to get into, so Will and I decided to collaborate on making a video of the class on building the workbench. And by the way, if you're interested in buying the seven hour video, click the link that should be appearing now. Probably the main reason for the Moravian workbench's popularity is the ease and speed of assembling the workbench and also the stability that the canted legs provide. For hand planing on a workbench, you really need a workbench that won't rattle and move across the room when you're planing. All other workbench designs require a massive workbench with a very heavy top if you want to have stability. This isn't really practical for all workshops. I once received an email from a woodworker who had built a Moravian workbench for his apartment in New York City, and he was able to carry all the workbench parts in the elevator by himself up to his apartment and then assemble the whole workbench in just a minute or two. I thought that was really cool. Another feature that I love about the Moravian workbench is how they are built with solid wood joints rather than with bolts that can come loose over time. When I make these workbenches, I cut dozens of solid joints that will hold the workbenches together for multiple lifetimes. The Moravian workbench is fantastic at holding lumber when you're building furniture. First, there's a very strong leg vise and leg vices are my favorite style of face vise because of their strength and the way they position the wood. These vise chops are available in oak or curly maple, and I source the maple screws from the best supplier of wooden vise screws. I build a solid oak parallel guide to prevent vise racking. Next, these workbenches feature a nice metal wagon vise, which was designed by Mr. Myers himself. The wagon vise lets you clamp wood between the bench dogs for hand planing and other work. And finally, the workbenches come with legs that are flush to the top of the workbench to allow you to clamp long boards to the workbench with holdfasts or clamps. The legs on these workbenches will come with holes bored for holdfasts. If you want to buy just vices or wooden screws, see the description below for links to the vices.
I've designed these Moravian workbenches with very solid laminated oak tops. Some of the Moravian workbenches I built for my school have slab tops, which have bowed, cupped, and twisted over time. The laminated design is much more stable, and the tops are in a range of 90 to 120 pounds, which most woodworkers can carry by themselves or with just one other person. The last major feature that I love about these workbenches is the removable tray. Some woodworkers say they don't like trays because they're hard to clean. Well, this really isn't a problem with a Moravian workbench because you simply lift the tray out and dump the shavings on the ground. And by building a simple spacer to go in the tool tray, you can have a wider work surface for the times when you want to do the assembly or glue ups. But I'd say 95 to 99% of the time, the 13 inch wide workbench top surface is more than I need. If you're interested in buying a portable Moravian workbench, make sure you reserve your workbench today because I'll be making these workbenches in small batches. So the wait list may get long pretty fast. And for the first couple of weeks, I'll be selling the first workbenches at a great introductory price, a price that's the same as a couple factory made bolt together workbenches on the market. I hope to see a Moravian workbench in your shop soon, whether you build it or buy it from me. If you're interested in woodworking with a mix of hand tools and power tools, visit my website at woodandshop.com where you can find a bunch of free woodworking lessons, workshop tours of amazing woodworkers, and our very popular tool buying guides. Make sure you subscribe to my free newsletter and check out my 10 steps for getting started in woodworking. Enjoy!